because life felt a little heavy or the to-do list a little long these days. Any chance you've felt like you've been in survival mode for a while now? You keep wondering, when is the to-do list going to let up? And when, when can I feel joy again? Maybe it's time to give yourself an important reminder. I'm Sage. I'm a growth coach. And the topic today is remember to live while you're busy surviving. So the name of my page is Growing Sage. That's because I'm Sage and I'm working on growing me. And the topics that pop up, some of them are because they come up because of a client I'm working with or a friend or a family member. But a good portion of them are things that come up in my life because I need the reminders. I need the growth in that area. And life is, is giving me the opportunity to grow. Well, this is one of them. So, uh, yeah, life handed me some, ugh, some heaviness uh, recently. And I just felt like every day I was like, okay, how to survive today? Okay, I gotta survive today. And I needed these reminders for myself. So this topic was for me. Maybe, just maybe you'll find something that resonates with you. Put it in the comments if you do. Okay. So why do we have a tough time living and finding joy while we're surviving? Well, we get stuck in our emotions. I, this girl, was stuck in some anger and some resistance. Okay. And I wasn't really happy about it. Also, we can get stuck in the kind of unknown of surviving. We just, we don't know how long we're going to feel like this. We don't know how many steps we're going to have to take to get out of whatever we're in. There's a lot of unknown. So it's just like, okay, handle this, check. Okay, handle this, check. Okay, didn't handle that. Feel, feel terrible. Need to lie in bed and cry for a little bit. Check, <laughs> right? The unknown. Also... Listen to me on this one. We don't think we deserve joy. I think we get in this place where something bad happens in our life. It can be directly to us or somebody around us. And it's heavy and it's... Right? That we feel like we can't still have joy in those moments. Because, oh, I'm dealing with this or I'm processing this or I'm... Right? But... I don't remember reading that in some rule book anywhere that we can't take a tiny break from the heaviness and do something joyful. In fact, that might be one of the best processes out of it. So here are a couple quotes for you. Don't just survive, live by creating the best version of yourself, unknown. And don't just survive, shine. Tom Fletcher. So how much time do you put into living and feeling joy instead of just surviving? And how could you level up that number? <sighs> Leveling up joy. That sounds like exactly what we need, right? So here are three ways to level up your joy. Okay, number one, reclaim joy in the small moments. Okay, your whole day sucks, but playing with your dog for this 10 minutes is joyful. Reclaim that. And it's okay to feel that 10 minutes playing with your dog as joyful, even though the whole rest of the day sucks. Okay? Choose to be present and notice, right? Number two, block out times for joy. Yep. Schedule it. All right. So I have to deal with this and 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 this that all really are not fun today. Okay. So from this time to this time, um, I'm going to go on a bike ride and I'm going to ride some more fun with someone fun and sit on a patio in the fun sunshine and have a fun beverage then I'm going to get myself back to my life 
and deal with some more sucky. Okay, that's okay to block out times for joy. It might recharge you to handle the sucky. Also, number three, and this one's big. Encourage others. Encourage others to level up their joy. I know it's tough for us as humans to like be like, okay, I'm, I'm like having a really tough time, but you go do you and have your joy. Okay. You don't need to be brought down by all my heaviness ugh, <laughs> right now. You can still go live your joy. And yes, I need support and I need love and I need compassion for my heaviness, but encourage the people around you to still feel joy. And outside of tough times, you be the person who's like, let's bring more joy into this room. Let's bring more joy into what we're doing today and encourage that for others. So circling around, remember to live while you're busy surviving. Which of these tips resonates with you? I really found comfort in the block out some time for joy. Maybe you will too. So here's our intention. I choose to live and experience joy often. Again, I'm Sage Robinson Miller. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or my page, growingsagejourney.com. Love you guys.